What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright, everybody, what's going on? You know who it is already. It's Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant Americans, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business. A.K.A. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. And I'm here to give you another video. Well, not a video, my fault. This is a podcast dealing with, you know, if you're not if you aren't not successful, who is to blame? I watch a lot of shows. Oh, not shows. I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. And I see a lot of crying and whining and guys are mad because this one person is doing something that they can't do or this other person is doing something that they can't do. And I want to know, and you, I want to know who, what, or who, or what is the reason why they do this? You know, what is the reason why they're not successful? And I want to, I want to give some clues to some people's lives that, like, this is why they're probably not successful. First of all, if you blame everything that you're doing on somebody else, off the bat, don't don't look forward to have some type of success in life. You're not going to be successful. And when before I go in, before I go into this. Success is determined from what you think it is. If you're happy with, in, in a good way, nothing, nothing demonic, demonic, or nasty, and I'm like, but say, 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 like, say, you know, you, you you're happy with you, with the life you have now, then that you're a success. But if you're not happy with the life you have now, or you're and you're jealous and envious of other people because of the life they have now, then maybe you look at, need to look in your own uh, your own background. I'll give you an example. There's guys out here to do this all the time too. If you're maybe if you're not successful, if you're uh, if you if you like if you're spending time in videos talking about other people, when you can put that time and energy, you used to do something else. You're not going to be successful either. Jealousy and envy is not the way to be. What you need to do is you need to see what if you're jealous and envious of another person, try to do what they've done. Don't do it to a T, but do what they've done, but switch it to your own way of life, your style, or whatever you want to say. Another trait of non-successful people, they're miserable. Let's face it, they were miserable before they got... If they're, you're coming on YouTube with all that hate, venom, and anger, or any type of social media. You were, you, you're just going to be a, you're a hateful person, and you're not going to be successful in life because you project that aura. You know, you don't project a confident aura. I, I don't, if I see somebody, like say if somebody wants me to, do, me to do a video with them or they when I ask me for an interview, I, I just don't interview anybody or I don't ask that it's at the fifth because I want to see how they are, what, you know, how they are personal, not personal, I want to see how they are overall. And like one video won't cut it for me. I'm like, well, you know, I got to see how this person is because if I'm interviewing with a shit bird, then people are gonna assume I'm a shitbird too. Oh shit! You know what I mean? If I give you, if I can give you the real and the raw, but some, but the person I'm trying to work with can't, well then it's gonna be a problem. Now let me give you another trait of unsuccessful people. Everything they do in life, they blame. What they do is they blame, so, oh, you, this happened to me because, this happened to me because, this was a factor, this happened, yada, 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 this, that, and the fifth. Now, if you weren't, you know, these unsuccessful people always looking for something to blame, and that's another people, person you should stay away from, someone who's always blaming somebody for something. Instead of lacing up their bootstraps and being a man or woman about the issue, they want to cry and whine. <laughs> You know, but sometimes you have to buck it up. Let me give you another trait of unsuccessful people. They focus on the other person. Now, let me say that. Now, I just told you people, do what somebody else is doing but fit to your style. I mean, don't copy and all. Just try to fit what they're doing and you do it. But there's a limit. There's a limit between, there's a fine line between trying to do what they do and just trying to be them. Because at the end of the day, you can't be, you can't, if you can't be that person you want to be, it's not going to happen. 
And a lot of people, let's face it, a lot of people pick the wrong avenue to go on YouTube. Like a lot of people, they they want to be all serious and this, that, and the third. But at the same time, they want to play the play the comic. They want to they want to do a multi well, a multitude of things on social media, but they can't do one thing. It's like there are certain people in life who are who are meant to do things and can multitask. And there are certain people who are not great at multitasking. If you're not great at multitasking, you shouldn't try to be a multitasker. You should stay in your lane and maybe somebody will come along and help you and you can cultivate what you're doing now. But I've seen I've seen a lot I've only been on YouTube since two thousand and nine. Which we uh, what's this? What's this? 2013. So that's about five years or so. No, four years. My fault. I'm American. We we can't add. I've been on here for about you know four years or so, and I really didn't get it cracking out till about last year and a half. But uh, what I found out from well, I watch other YouTubers. I'm not gonna lie. I watch them and I see what they're doing, and I try to see what what's what's what makes so and so pop. What makes them? What makes some people want to come back to another episode of what they're doing? And I just you know, in my videos, I incorporate a lot of like my I incorporate what you like. I tell people in my videos, what I do is I give you how I am around my friends and family, but you're getting a watered down version of that. Like if you come, if, if you were like a friend of family member that I'm cool with and you know me, then you know like look we just we can sit around all day and not do nothing. We still have fun because that's how we roll. Like I don't have I, back in the day I didn't have to go to the club all the time. I could just hang out with my family members and we could hang out with my friends. We'd be drinking cars, whatever. It'd be fun and we just had fun like that. But and to us that was successful because like to me just having all them around was just it, I was a success in life. But now back to you, non miserable, you non successful, miserable bastards blaming everybody. You gotta, you gotta own what you do. You gotta take ownership in your life. The problem is you want to take ownership in your life. You want everybody to give you a handout. Well, listen up, my friend. You don't get no handouts over here. You want to know why? I, if you look at my videos, I can help you get to where you want to go. But I'm not going to give it to you. Because number one, you're not my kid. Number two, you're not one of my family members who are, like, you're not a tight family member of me. Well, I give a freedom to my family. I'm talking about, like, you know you got family who you really, you're homie from a scony type shit. And that's what I try to do. But at the end of the day, for all you little, you know, all you crybabies out there blaming other people, or now you want to pick on other people because they're doing something and, like, you can't do it. What do you what do you want? You want my shoes? You want my you want the, the, the card? My keys to the cars? You want the you want the key to the house? You want to mess with the women I'm messing with? What do you want from me? If I even gave you all that, and I've done this before in my life, I I'd pick I'd started over fucking two or three times in my life from scratch, and I had no problem doing it. But I'm not, I'm not my, the problem. Here's 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 the key. I found what most successful people in life and people who. You look at it successful. Here's the one key in life. Number one, no, I'll give you two. Number one, they all been failures. That's that's a constant. Every person who's been some type of success in life, they've been a failure. They've been laughed at. They've told no. I mean, you, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, Bill Gates, uh, old boy from Apple who, Bill, who just recently passed away. God bless. Every like name something like maybe like Walter Payton. All these people. Were told no at some point in their lifetime, but they didn't let that stop them to, from being successful. Matter of fact, people like that admire because they use that as as something to, to build upon. They use that as motivation. And let me tell you another success, another thing of successful people: they don't listen to anybody else. They do them. Like I, I'm not look when I make my videos, my podcasts, and everything. I'm worried about what I'm doing t on this. I'm not worried about what so-and-so does. I'm not worried about what XYZ does. I'm worried about what Mr. Warmack does. Why? Because Mr. Warmack can only do Mr. Warmack. I can't do Joe Schro's channel and him crying and whining because he had it rough in life. Well, nobody had an easy cupcake. So, I this a little, little podcast. I ain't doing much. I'm just doing my thing. So, I'll be back to talk to you guys. Peace.